Hello and welcome back to Kitacho Laboratories. We're on the final uh, scene of the last act, I believe. Still opened. Closed, yep. Where it all started, that's the exit. Dorms. Over here. I remember this. Yeah, the exit said it was that way, but why am I able to still go this far? Catherine Catacho. Dad and I took a walk down the maintenance hall today to take a look at what some of the lab boys have been making lately. He's pretty excited about the test track being completed soon. After all these years, he's finally yet to see some of his inventions in action. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about it as well after seeing everything coming together. I had my doubts at first, but I think there's going to be some real good science we could squeeze out of these chambers. The only issue is that we need someone to test them and given the nature of the track as a whole, you can't blame people for not immediately jumping at the opportunity. When talking about it, Dad kept looking at me as if he wanted me to volunteer, but he held back from saying anything due to how dangerous it is. <coughs> the idea of being the first ever test subject isn't really what I had in mind when I started working here, but I know it would mean a lot to him if I did. I'm not sure what to do, so I think I'm going to just sleep on it for now. But I can't stop thinking about the idea of being the first subject for t the testing track. It's almost done being constructed, and they're really... They're already open for applicants. Out of curiosity, I went down to the staff halls of the track without Dad knowing, just to get a peek at what I'd be up against. Honestly, it didn't seem bad. Funny to see Dad incorporate the slime he made into the chambers themselves, and I think I'm in decent enough shape to pull them off some of the jumps needed. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the lava in the later chambers, but I spoke with Wendell and he showed me their new fire resistance. It's like magic. It completely protects the user from feeling any discomfort while around fire or lava. You could practically swim through the stuff and be just fine. It's insane! At first it, I was skeptical, but Wendell applied the effects to himself and waded through some lava like it was nothing. I didn't try it myself because I actually, you know, value existing. Okay, I think I've finally gone off the deep end because I finally took a swim through lava with Wendell today. A swim! Even when writing it down, it doesn't even feel real. He finally convinced me to go in after him and I guess the peer pressure finally got the best of me. Dad would be pretty disappointed if he knew I gave it <laughs> that easy. Honestly, the lava was the only thing I was really worried about in the testing track and now I've Conquered my fear of it. I don't. I can't think of anything that would stop me from finishing all of the chambers. I'm a bit nervous about how Dad will react to me volunteering, but I think I'll save that for tomorrow. It's happening. I am officially known as TS1, the first ever test subject of the labs. I was worried about how Dad was going to react, but he actually seemed really happy to see me volunteer. Even going so far as to say he couldn't think of anyone else who'd be a better fit. I'm going to spend a bit more time training with Wendell to get a better idea what to expect, but after a couple of weeks, the testings will take place. <sighs> Today is the day, the grand opening of Test Track 1. 
I'm a little nervous, but also excited. Dad said he'd be watching me from every window. I'm currently writing this before I head out, so I expect to hear how it went tomorrow. In the meantime, it just breakfast and some late minute training and then I'll be good to go. Not gonna lie, I kind of hope Wendell will be watching. That's it. So on April 16th, you stopped existing. was Catherine. I think I'm test subject three? Something like that? I was expecting it to be like, oh yeah, I was doing this and then I ran away and then ended up getting captured to become the test subject. Observation. One ball. Oh, I almost made that. <laughs> All right. Literally, I'm solving it with less stuff. case we need it. There we go. It was important to get the lever. That's clever. Unless there is one out here. That is a no. I remember the path.
Hmm. Oh wait. It has a lever I could get through. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay, I'm slightly lost. Here we go again. Actually, Catherine, we believe in you. Smartest person, our facility in the map. <coughs> I'm guessing something bad happened to her. Wait, Is that open. Oh, over here. The catalyst. Must be where uh, Catherine died. Ball? There, we can swim there.
there's the exit, but I think we need to solve a little bit. Get through. Yeah, let's see, is this still efficient? 14 seconds, so... The fact that a person died in the lava area is kinda ironic, though. Hey, stop the burning! Thank you. Dumb. The aftermath. It's been about a week since the truck incident. Currently writing this after my, just putting my notice of resignation and I don't know how to feel about this anymore. She didn't deserve what happened to her. It's so unfair. We made sure to test that effect plate a hundred times before she started testing. Everything seemed fine. Everything worked as intended. But I guess fate had other plans that day because that one hundredth and first time it didn't work. The plate didn't trigger properly. It didn't apply the effect at all. But she thought it did. She trusted us. She trusted me. Track 1 is in the process of being shut down after what happened and you would think that would be the end of it. But for whatever reason Jake gave orders to make another testing track. I just don't understand. His own daughter burst into flames with no remains. And he wants to just make more of these traps? I can't be part of that. I can't be responsible for more deaths at the facility. I know everyone handles grief differently, but it's like he's been an entirely different person after what happened. Just constantly acting like everything is normal and that business continues as usual I spoke with Susie about it and even she's concerned for him they're just trying to give him some space so he can cope with what happened to his own way but I really don't think making more chambers is the right solution they're even going as far as to pretty much build the next track right on top of this one and to incorporate the chambers that went unused in this track into it. Something about not wanting to waste any science. What's this about? Science anymore. What's the purpose of all this? I miss you Catherine. I'm so sorry for what happened. I should have never talked you into participating. You'd still be here if I hadn't. And that was Dr. Wendell's journal. Went into the flames without even thinking about the consequences. This is suicide right there. If I jumped into that, I don't think we'd make it. All right, let's uh, continue on. Oh wait, my slime ball. Slime ball. Wait, I'm not gonna be able to get my. Yeah, I am. I think I could still take it with me if I go. If anything, I'm gonna get fire damage again because this fire seems to stay here forever. And take some damage. And turn it off. No, those need levers. Alright, let's escape. Our calls. Where's the exit? Yeah. Pack 
Catwalk Cavern. But I lost my slime ball again. Co-op track? Aww. Okay. Where is it? No, they gotta have an Easter egg on this again. No? Too many buttons. Oh, this way. Tacho Town. Didn't we just did we loop around? Look, oh, touch towns that way. This is the catwalk. Hey everyone, I have an important message regarding the ongoing legal battles we've been in over the disappearance of Corvid. Uh, look, I'm not gonna lie. The past few months have been stressful, and things haven't exactly been working in our favor. Now that I think about it, live streaming test subject 3, going through test track 9 to the public during a legal crisis, it probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. But, let's not dwell on the past. To put it simply, I'm, I'm starting to suspect there's something much larger at play here. During my hearing today in the courtroom, you'll never guess who they brought in to testify against me. That's right. Cindy Ombra herself. Can you actually believe the nerve of these people? I know it's public knowledge that we have history together, but it's even more widely known that neither of us could ever give an unbiased statement about the other in the midst of something as serious as this. Now, needless to say, she spent her entire testimony just insulting my reputation and even had the audacity to bring up the events that led to us going our separate ways. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this in so much detail, but the fact that she showed up for this after decades of us not even being in the same room as one another leads me to suspect she's after something. Now look, I know I might be coming off as a bit paranoid, but I know that woman better than anyone else and how she will stop at nothing to get what she wants, regardless of the law. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I'm pondering the idea of her being responsible for Corvette's disappearance. But of course, there's no proof of that. Oh, look. I know everyone down here is worried. And I'll be honest with you, all things are looking pretty bleak. With Cindy now in the picture, I'm not really sure where this is going to go. I'm just having a hard time wondering what she would even be after. It's not like we have anything of value to her or anything she would... Wait. She can't possibly know that. <clears throat> uh, you know what, um... J just ignore all of this. Uh, war continues as usual. I'll keep you all updated on what's going on, but for now, I... I have to go take care of something. Susie, can you book me for a trip down to the experimental labs? I guess, um... They had the... Catherine and Catherine's uh, storyline was not told. Oh, I'm stupid. There's a ladder system right here.
New York Times of Stranded, please keep in mind there is a way to the surface if you happen to be in the experimental labs. Just make sure you to head to the transport shaft, looking at the opposite end of the track. Hey, I'm new here. Anyone want to be friends now? 33123. 33132. Or 13132, sorry. 33132. What? Over here? Oh, over there. Why did it sound like it was over here? The lever. This is a trap. I knew it. Continued, of course. Hmm. This one was definitely one of the longer ones. And I was expecting some parts to be a lot more easier than the others. One of three secrets. Use the following codes at the beginning of the labs to carry your secrets over. And now I need a. So in the future, these codes are gonna be important. Go back. All right. Well, that's why they want to keep it secret because they want to keep their uh, stuff secret. I'm sure there's more to the story that I could have found, but I just couldn't find like the sword recently, or I think there was another path with the bells. Anyways, with that, we're ending it here. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.